Myron City was in a state of emergency. Mobilized on the launching pad, its engines throbbing in readiness, stood giant Space Freighter 9. Inside, the crew waited anxiously as the captain gave his final briefing. Myron City's Space Freighters are vanishing daily. Mysterious forces are at work. The entire space fleet is in danger. Our enemy is unknown. Our orders are to search, attack, and destroy. The crew were listening so intently as the captain revealed his plans that no one noticed Bleep and Booster, who'd arrived minutes before, eager to know what all the excitement was about. Bleep's antennae quivered with tension. Oh, Booster, this is very serious. Never before have I seen my father look so worried. I know. He'd be furious if he knew we were here. Let's get out quick. Silently, they began to creep away as the captain was giving his final orders. <coughs> Bleep and Booster stopped dead in their tracks. The alarm signal could mean only one thing. Somewhere out in space, yet another Myron freighter had vanished without trace. <coughs> giant sonic activated doors slid smoothly together, cutting off all contact with Myron City. Bleep and Booster were trapped. They looked at each other in horror as the crew began the emergency launching procedure. The captain barked out his orders. Check pressurization venturi valves. Release safety interlocks. Bring generators to half power. Crouched by the ionic multiplier tubes, Bleep and Booster realized that, like it or not, they too were going to take part in Space Freighter 9's battle with the unseen enemy. I have ignition. All systems go. Space Freighter 9 throbbed through the deep blackness of outer space. Where was the unknown enemy? And when would the danger strike? The captain manipulated the complicated controls, confident that Space Freighter 9 was tough enough for such a perilous assignment. But suddenly, his concentration was interrupted. Uh, 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 hello, father, said Bleep nervously. That was a jolly smooth takeoff, said Booster, hoping he was saying the right thing. The captain looked thunderous. Why are you here? This is an emergency mission. We could not help it, Father. We could not get off in time. I'm quite glad, really. Perhaps we can help, began Booster. But the captain silenced him with one withering glance. There is nothing you can do. You may even hinder our mission. Go away and do not bother me or any member of the crew. Crestfallen, Bleep and Booster crept away, feeling very ashamed of themselves. They crouched by the side of the navigation display panel and watched as the captain skillfully maneuvered Space Freighter 9 further and further into outer space. The vibrating engines almost lulled Bleep and Booster to sleep. But then, the sound seemed to change. The captain gazed at his space velocity meter. Forty. Twenty. Zero. Desperately, he switched the emergency guidance system, but it was useless. Bleep and Booster were flung upside down as Space Freighter 9 spiraled dizzily out of control. But incredibly, without warning, the freighter recovered. It was just as though nothing had happened. Well done, Father. Yes, what superb flying, echoed Booster. But every dial points to zero. I am not flying this machine. An unknown power is taking over. 
Look out! Space Freighter 9 was trapped in a searing beam of light. Like a moth caught in the flame of a candle, it was drawn faster and faster towards the unknown menace of the White Ray.